Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today's adventure will be sealing some cracks on the wood stove. Come on over and we'll take a look at what the cracks look like. As you can see, there's a little bit of chipping away. There's a hole. There's a little bit more. Decent. Then you get down further and you can see that it's pretty decent amount in there. So this is what we're dealing with on all four seams and we're going to show you how to patch that up and make it a little more tidy and a little more efficient. First we'll start with a little display of things you need. Uh, wire brush, although it may not come in too handy. Some uh, furnace cement. I had this old stuff, fire resistant mortar, it said it was good up to 2000 degrees, but it also said on the back, framework, yada yada. So I decided to go and get this stuff, and it was, you know, three bucks, and it says right on it, metal and masonry, seals metal to metal joints, or masonry, and that made me feel a little bit better, so I went with that. So you need a tube of that. They make multi, multiple different um, kinds and, you know, brands, and you find the one you think is best. Uh, caulk gun, a few towels, and uh, a few paper towels, maybe a little bit of water on hand. Um, they say that uh, if you get any of this on the outside of the cracks or where you don't want it you have to get it off pretty immediately or it'll etch um, and I just used a little tiny uh, of course I can't get it right now sewing needle to t kind of pick out some of the crumbly stuff that you don't really want in there so we'll go ahead and show you how to get started on the tube of cement it says that you must clean the area first so you just want to find your seam go through give it a good wipe down um, you can use your nail through the paper towel or washcloth or whatever you choose to use kind of use your nail and get it right in that groove um, if there is any hole which in this wood stove there are uh, a lot of uh, debris and, and you know dust and dirt and all sorts of stuff gets sucked into these little tiny holes and the cement isn't made to kinda stick to that so you go through give it a good clean and then what I'm gonna do next since you want a good long bead There's parts that just crumble right out of here. So what I did is take this sewing needle and I'm just kind of going through and picking back and forth and look how easily that stuff is just coming right out of there. Um, you want to get anything that's kind of loose and not going to last much longer. Uh, if you're doing this once, you might as well get as much done as you can. You don't want to be going back and doing this multiple times. So clean out all through there. Seems decent. Clean this out a little deeper. These are just little tiny pieces that are barely holding on. So get those out of the way. stuff flings pretty good sometimes so you might want to wear some eye protection
have a pretty small crack in the wood stove to fill so we're going to try to cut this to produce the smallest bead possible as you can see I have a piece of Tyvek down uh, in case this type of stuff happens put a couple of paper bags down just for a little extra protection to cover the hearth it says when you apply this stuff you want to have a moist area um, I think this stuff bonds through the evaporation of water so I'm assuming by applying the moist overcoat that it allows the bond to happen more easily. So I'll go around and do that on all four sides and that should give me a pretty good seal. You want to uh, clean this up pretty quickly. The instructions on the bottle say. So I'm just going to go on the outside of the seam with some water and a paper towel and give it a little clean. And then maybe a little dry down. As I said, I'm going on the outside of the seam. I'm not touching the seam at this point. And there you go. This is how you fill cracks on a wood stove. After you get done sealing all sides, you want to start a small fire, um, a light fire for approximately an hour, and let that burn through, and then start a bigger fire, and let that harden it off, and that'll seal it up tight for you. Thanks for watching. Help me. Come on. Help me. No. You can do this. It's just a matrix. Thanks for watching. Get sealing your wood stove up. Get it's super, sealing it's super your... easy. Thanks for watching. Get sealing your wood stove up. Peace. Peace.